This video is on the flagship hyphen from our friends at Monitor Audio. Now, Monitor Audio developed the hyphen to celebrate their 50th anniversary in 2023. These were first shown at the 2021 Munich Hi-Fi Show as a prototype they initially called the Concept 50. With some feedback from listeners at that show, they made some small tweaks and changed the name to the hyphen. Now, our annual audio and home theater show, Audio Advice Live, hosted the first United States public demonstrations of this amazing loudspeaker. Monitor Audio was founded way back in 1972, just outside of Cambridge, England. And it's interesting to me how many long-lived British audio companies were founded around that time and in a similar location. They have since moved to a town called Rayleigh, which is a short ride east of London near Britain's east coast. The planning for this very unique speaker design started several years ago. Monitor Audio is a privately owned company, which meant the owners could give the engineers and designers free reign over their 50th anniversary creation and not have to worry too much about the cost. Now we spent some time with their product design director from the UK at Audio Advice Live, and he told us, management told them to make the very best speaker that they could. We made a decision very early on that rather than looking back uh, and trying to recreate our heritage and, and being too nostalgic about what we wanted to do, we really wanted to create a product that was future looking, where the brand wants to go in the next 50 years and try and create a loudspeaker with, with no preconceptions about what a loudspeaker should be. The hyphen is obviously a very unique looking loudspeaker. We didn't set out to make something that was different for the sake of being different. The way we, we looked at it uh, and where the engineers all approached this, this design was we wanted to create a, a loudspeaker that was born from its configuration. All of the elements of the loudspeaker that make the sound that work, we wanted to create the object around that. And that's why you have this really, really unique aesthetic on the, on the, on the product. The, the first thing you see is the two split cabinets, and that's born from the, the force-canceled bass drivers. Uh, after a discussion with Michael and myself, we, re uh, we realized that obviously with the, they work the same way, inwards and outwards. And by taking them inwards and inverting them, we can bring those drive units much, much closer to the to the mid range and the and the tweeter and get a real great point source much, much closer than you you get on a conventional speaker. And then we partnered that with a really great bit of R and D. Um, we call it the M array. That's what's housed on the bridge across the front of the speaker. This M array is actually made up of seven transducers, six little two inch mid ranges, and the third generation of our MPD uh, micro pleated diaphragm. Uh, tweeter. These little two inch drivers are a masterpiece of miniaturization. They, they work seamlessly with the tweeter and they're designed in sync with the baffle. The team work together, the industrial designers and the acoustic engineers to ensure that that baffle and those mid-range drivers are really tightly packed with very, very small gaps around the, uh, the mid-range drivers and they're flat themselves. So the tweeter sees it as a flat surface. Uh, it's much, much better for, for point source. We don't have um, a moving piston around. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really, really great way of approaching uh, the, the mid-range and the tweeter aspect of the design, and it's something we're really proud of. Also with the, with the hyphen are the cabinets. It's a new material for us. We're using uh, what we call an acrylic stone, which has an incredibly high mineral content which makes these speakers incredibly heavy. Uh, they're, they're over 100 kilos, over 200 pounds. Uh, and uh, that makes them incredibly inert. The, the cabinet material is much more uh, friendly to use for us in the kit loudspeaker design because we can go a little bit thinner than MDF. So we get lots of that internal air volume back. So we can create a relatively small loudspeaker for what it is. Uh, while it's uh, you know large compared to a lot of conventional home uh, speakers, for, for its category, it's actually a very, very small product. And what we didn't want to do was create a loudspeaker which was, you know, over two meters tall with, with loads of bass drivers firing at you. I, I find those quite aggressive, quite oppressive. And we wanted to create something that, that actually stood back a little bit more and that really, really let you, like, sit back and enjoy the music. Uh, we, we have a, a phrase at Monitor Audio, we call it our transparent design philosophy. Uh, and it's something we, we take through all elements of our organization. Uh, you know, we, we want to make the, the music or the movies be the thing that you, you experience. The, the speakers are just a, a tool to deliver that. And I think what we've delivered with Hyphen is, is the, the true sort of 
uh, statement of, of that. Uh, that's why we, we call it the shape of genius. When you see these for the first time, there is no question that these are like no other speakers that you've ever seen. And then when we heard them on some of our favorite test tracks, even in a show environment, we could tell these are world-class speakers. The hyphen is made up of two towers with an array in the center called their M array. Monitor audio starts with a solid surface material that is a composite of acrylic, minerals, and natural pigments. The acrylic stone material is then machine cut and hand polished to achieve the unique shape that supports the hyphen's components. While this creates a cabinet that weighs 235 pounds and stands 55 inches tall, the material is so rigid and inert that there is no unwanted vibrations. This new third generation of MPD tweeter extends out to 60,000 hertz and has less distortion than any previous model. Their in-room response is a very impressive 18 hertz at minus 6 dB. Anyone lucky enough to purchase a pair of hyphens will then have to decide on three beautiful finish options. These come in a striking white, black, or green finish, and we hope Monitor Audio will offer even more color options in the future, as these are quite a statement piece, and more choices would allow them to fit in even more environments. Now, we sat down and spent some time with these at Audio Advice Live, and they were being driven by a Mark Levinson stack using their 50th anniversary ML50 mono power amps. These amps put out 850 watts each into the hyphen's 4 ohm load. This is the only disadvantage we see to the hyphen. You will need lots and lots of power to really wake them up. Their sensitivity is rated at 86 dB and the engineers told us they recommend power amps up to 1600 watts per channel. After spending a few minutes going through some of our favorite test tracks, we have to say, Monitor Audio has produced one of the best loudspeakers we've ever heard. The soundstage is incredibly wide and accurate with the speakers just completely disappearing. Now, when you are in the center sweet spot, the stage they paint is just stunning. We've heard speakers with a taller stage, but these have an uncanny ability to place instruments in a three-dimensional field that feels like it's about five feet tall and extends far beyond the sides of the speakers. Vocals and strings sounded totally effortless and just floated with no sense of strain at all. And you could tell with percussive cymbal attacks, the top end just flowed with ease. Bass was fast, tight, and deep, and fully integrated with the upper frequencies. You could tell that the huge room that they were in at the show was holding back the deep bass attack a bit, but in a normal room, that aspect should just be awesome. No speaker is perfect, and they all have some compromises. Monitor Audio has totally delivered on the best speaker the company has ever produced, and by a very, very wide margin. These are just spectacular. Now, are they inexpensive? No. Are they easy to drive? No. Do they weigh more than a refrigerator? Yes, they do. But if you can get past those points and set up a pair of hyphens in your system, you will know what we mean when we say these are some of the best speakers in the world today. If you have more questions about these hyphens or any other audio or video gear, please feel free to reach out to us at audioadvice.com and our experts would be happy to help you out. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.